how long can the light last? Hi, my name is Rabbi Lokic, and these are my Moor Minutes. We're living in some really dark and challenging times. A virus has brought 7.1 billion people to their knees. People quarantining. Schools, synagogues, gyms closed down. Major industries fell apart. Millions of people sick. And so many have unfortunately lost their lives. Panic, fear, anxiety, and depression sets in. And we are struggling to understand how to best respond to the uncertainty and darkness of life. The Jewish response is Moor, illumination, to ignite a flame and illuminate the world. But if there's anything that we have learned from this virus, it's that we humans don't run the world. We're not the ones in charge. We can hope and we can pray, but we can't predict the future. 21 years ago, at the turn of the century, January 1, 2000, the New York Times did just that. They tried to predict the future. But there, on the bottom left corner of the page, was a little article that read, Jewish women and girls light Shabbat candles today, 18 minutes before sunset. The infinite creator created a majestic world filled with beauty, splendor, and opportunity. But sometimes our world could seem very dark with loneliness, hate, sickness, despair. Regardless as to what's going on in the world, the Irish Catholic editor of the New York Times knew that on Friday, in 100 years, Jewish women all over the world will still be lighting those candles. We are partners with the Creator and given the opportunity to transform that darkness. It's what we have been doing for thousands of years and it's what we need to continue doing by illuminating the world with love, peace, unity, and connection. How long can the light last? It's up to you.